आई डॉक्टर प्रशांत उपाध्याय वेलकम यू अगेन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल गेट एरिना टुडे वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द ईएसपी 32 डेवलपमेंट टूल किट एंड वी विल गोइंग टू सी दैट व्हाई दिस ईएसपी 32 इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर पॉपुलर नाउ डेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक अबाउट द आर्डिनो यूनो एंड वी हैव सीन दैट आर्डिनो यूनो इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर बोर्ड दैट इज बीइंग यूज्ड बाय द रिसर्चर्स and the student for making their projects now days you can see that this esp32 is becoming more and more popular for building the embedded projects which are especially designed for the iot system the one thing which make this esp32 more popular on the arduino you know is this wi-fi capability available on the esp32 board okay so uh, what we are trying to say is that because we want to make our product as a iot product so first we have to make the device as a embedded system and to make this embedded system as a iot we require the internet so what we have to do we have to connect our board with the help of a wi-fi so this esp32 provide us the facility to connect our board with the internet okay therefore this board are becoming more and more popular for building the application for the iot's okay so next you can see that we have got this chip available on the esp32 board so basically when we are talking about this metallic chip so so this is the esp32 microcontroller ic's which is the 48 pin qfn so qfn refer to the quad flat no lead packages so basically these are also refer as the leadless packages which come with the small size and these are being put it on the pcb so that they are being hard solder so it is very much difficult for you to take out it from the pcb okay so it will be very much difficult for you to take out this chip and replace this chip if the board get burnout or the board is been defective okay so you have it's a better to buy a new board than to replace the microcontroller chip so moving ahead this is the esp32 pin configurations that are available on our slides so you can see that this is the esp32 w room which we are using so whenever you are installing the arduino ide on your system so you have to select this board so basically what we are trying to do is that first we will be installing the esp32 and once we have installed the esp32 so we will be getting various board of the esp32 but since we will be working on this esp32 especially uh, e this esp32 w rom board so what we have to do we, from the given esp32 we have to select esp32 dev kit version 1 do it board then only your program will be uploaded on this board coming to this pin configuration we have got the enable pins available at the top then we have got ground v in and then we have got a general purpose input output pins uh, if we talk about the power supply so we have got the uh, voltage of 3.3 volt available in this espw room whereas if we talk about with respect to the arduino you know we have got the 5 volt and 3.3 volt so generally when we are attaching the sensors which uh, require the current or a voltage source between 3 to 3.6 volt so we can provide easily voltage from this board so next we have got the i2c pins okay that stand for the inter integrated chips that are being present at the pin number 21 and 22 of the esp32 so whenever we are connecting the some of the sensor for example bmp280 so we will be connecting it over the i2c pin so th these pin are generally the scl serial clock and serial data pins so if you want to go into the more detail of this you can go with the data sheet of a esp32 given on their website so thank you very much for listening our videos i hope you have understood why this esp32 is becoming more and more popular nowadays